And welcome back, you guys, to my Let's Play of more The Dungeons of Nohobek. Let's continue on. Did look weird. Hands off my gold, my precious. Well, gold. it tastes bad. Reminds me of my granny's soup. Ew, potions taste icky. Well, here we are, but no Ravax. Strange, all these signs of struggle. Looks like a battle went down here. Ha! Goblins are always squabbling with each other. There's a strange broken bottle on the ground. Look, it's some Chateau Le Luzer, a renowned vintage. What do we care about empty bottles? There's not a drop left in it. Chateau Le Luzer is no mere table wine, it's a premium vintage. The bottle was smashed. This warrants our attention. I think we should listen to the thief, for once. Ah, thank you. It's good to feel validated. Who's the thief guy again? Ah, should I be bothered by being ignored by the ignorant? Okay, fine. We should listen to him. But it feels weird. I knew it. My isolation was the result of a plot. Well, come on, we're listening. Doesn't mean we have to like you. So where's Ravax if he's not around? I was saying he's been abducted. This bottle is a major hint. Look, there are goblin hairs and bits of flesh on the glass shards. Ew, that's gross! If someone knocked him out with the bottle and since the whole dungeon is trapped in a loop, this means the bottle must have come from the inn. That holds up. It's an interesting investigative approach to find where Ravax is. Who's that Ravax guy? Well, I think it'd be better to interrogate Mel Boots. The innkeeper must know something about this bottle. This boorish innkeeper reeks of garlic and bad liquor, but his seedy looks might be hiding his true usefulness from us. <laughs> this can be said of all peasants, and appearances hold no value for me. Really? But you thought I was handsome. Yeah, fine. Got it. Still, it feels wrong. I mean, paying attention to the thief is just odd. In turn, I'll act as if I didn't hear what you just said. Let's go to the inn. I'm going to annihilate you! Bunch of destructive half-wits. Thank you. 
Don't stand in my way! My turn. Ah! Arcana time. You can't see me. And I stopped making chairs for this. Move it, you're in my way. Arcana time!
One goblin, fine. A hundred goblins, trouble. That didn't hurt. Uh, miss, but hey, no big deal. Cowardly, but efficient. Uh. Take this, blood. chicken shit! Aha! I've got the moves! I was thirsty. Well, they're almost about to level up. Circles. So let's update the map.
You again? Just passing through. Check you guys. You again? What's your poison? We want to see Mel. He's away. Don't know where he is. This place is crazy busy at this hour, and I'm overwhelmed. When was the last time you saw him? Just after Black Smog screwed up the whole dungeon. He ran from his room like the devil was after him, a bottle in hand. Did you notice what bottle he was holding? A Chateau Le Luzer, mayhaps? Yeah, right. I've got nothing better to do. I work here, you know. Someone has to put up with all those drunks who burp their life stories down your cleavage. If you're not ordering, then buy. Fine. We'll go look somewhere else. We could look around his room for hints. Good idea. It's an okay idea at best. Don't blow it out of proportion. Speaking of, how long are we going to have to listen to the thief? My ears are stinging. I was not listening. Me neither. What's he saying? You guys are like we do. Don't look like that. He says he doesn't care, and his ears are plugged up with wax. Well, I'll get used to this. At least three of you are sort of listening. Anyway, let's find Mel's room. Garments. It's a cultist gown. Hmm. Smells like wine. And this gown belongs to Tough Luck's clergy. It seems this innkeeper has been hiding a lot from us. I like playing hide and seek, especially in the woods. Maybe he's hiding. We should count before going after him. Yeah, you stay here and catch a million. We'll get a head start. Oh, right. You should go first on account of your tiny legs. Nice pun. <laughs> cool it, cockroach. We listened to you once before. Don't go thinking you get to talk now. Look, a wine crate. Chateau Le Luzer. The same wine of which we found a broken bottle in Ravak's apartment. And let me remind you, this is also the wine we brought back to him from the cellar. Good gravy. All this fuss over some wine. Beer all the way. Look, I appreciate all these harebrained ideas, but they don't tell us where Ravax is. It's elementary, my dear Ranger. Mel Boots must be involved in Ravax's disappearance. But he's not at the tavern. And since it's impossible to exit the dungeon, we must still be in there. Seems logical, but where? Let's see. Where could an innkeeper, obsessed with fine wine and who leads a double secret life as a cultist, find a hideout? Someplace cool and damp? In the woods? He's in the woods, right? The undergrowth is cool and damp. Nonsense. I got it. He's in a mushroom farm. Inside a meat locker. No, no, you are absolute Morons in the basement with all the wine. Mel Boots is in the basement. Oh, yeah, good idea. All right, come down. We get it. Who's this Mel guy? Oh, God. Let's go to the basement. <laughs> I, think the, I think the thief is like, it's bullshit. We're getting tired of this crap. Is that it? Did we ever check the hall? No!
Money must flow. Ah. Dwarf's car maps mm -hmm. are great. Heavier, but sturdier. No, there is not. Yeah, no. Alright, so I'm gonna stop here. I will meet you and you know what? We'll end at the hall, so. I think I already did all the side missions. Okay, I'm going to stop right here, but I'll catch you guys next time when we play more The Dungeons of Nohobek. See ya!